don't think we'll ever let nature take its course. We're way beyond that. Um, whether it's you're talking about fires or predators or anything, at least in this country, um, we have to manage. So, so in the mountain brush, um, what I really like about mountain brush is its diversity. And when, it, when it's really functioning, you don't just have one species. Um, you, have, you have pockets of um, things that you know, are service berry and, and the oaks. So this was a lightning strike? It was a lightning strike. Um, okay. Happened a few weeks ago. So a few weeks ago. Okay. And uh, the local county fire department got right on top of it, and was able to confine it to just a fairly small. So about 30 some odd acres? About 33 acres is okay. what they expect. We do have the fire line was pushed. So when we use fire, we light fire, when we use it as a, as a prescribed tool, what, our goal there is to create edge and to, to open up those areas and create edge. And so you can see here then, we'll have this fire and, and over time, the uh, material will, will go down, we'll get re-sprouting. And now we have here, we have older trees, so we've created this edge or this ecotone. They, they provide such a benefit to wildlife. It provides cover in the older, old material that's in the standing. They have cover and they have the new succulent growth that's coming out into the fire. Um, the, the diversity of the, the forbs and the grasses that'll grow. Um, and then we also have, but, but they don't want to get too far away from that edge. So when I talk about edge, that's what I'm talking about, is transitions between one vegetative type to another vegetative type. Pretty good looking burn area here. You see any re-sprouting occurring on any of the yeah, oaks? Yeah, you start seeing the re-sprouting starting to happen here um, at, the base of, at the base of this. It usually occurs at the base of these trees coming out yep, of the root yeah, nodules. There's, there's one there. Right there. You see oh, a there's, few. there's some inside there. Yeah. And they're, they're starting to come up. And, this has only been a few weeks and we're already starting to see this regeneration of the oak. It happens very fast, it's very fire adapted. It, it's an incredible transitional range as the animals are coming off of winter range into mountain brush and then moving on to summer range. And the inverse is, is true as well. It's also critically important to us as, as the animals are coming out of the higher elevations through the mountain brush transitioning back onto winter range. Scott, we're in Mountain Green, which is a bedroom community for Ogden, Utah, and it's uh, expanding up into the, uh, the mountain brush vegetation type. And so we're looking at the issue of the urban wildland interface here. So one of the issues obviously is what's the impact then of these homes being developed in, in this Gamble Oak area uh, in terms of uh, wildlife habitat, wildlife movements, uh, those kinds of things. This area here is pretty typical of some of the areas that we see that a lot of urbanization happening. And as the houses build into this area particularly, it's, um, th this is a real crucial moose wintering habitat. Um, we really try to urge the people to just let them do what they would do naturally. Uh, wandering through the backyards that again, human safety is really important. Uh, communities like Gamble Oak could be manipulated uh, with something like a prescribed burn, but what are what kind of constraints are you facing now with management of, of the Gamble Oak in this area with these houses then encroaching into it? What, what are your options? What are your constraints? Uh, prescribed fire is pretty much out of the question because of the risk to, to, the, to the houses. Um, there's not an ecosystem in this area large enough to maintain it and let nature take its course, you know, roll. Um, so, so we have to manage. If we can manage uh, the best we know how, the best science we have, and, and, and we're working on projects in the mountain brush to try to get some of that mosaic, some of that diversity back into it.